So, <laughs> and I know a lot of people be um, commenting on me like, making that noise when I talk. That's hilarious, by the way. Uh, I do find that funny. It's probably because I be like drinking water or something before I get on or drink water in the process, and that's how I taste flavors better. It's a habit I have. But um, a lot of people ask, why did I stop making the political music and yada, yada, yada? And I, I want to explain to y'all why. <clears throat> now, to a lot of people, they don't care about reality or truth or why. They just, you know, have very strong opinions and they're, they're, they're not going to buzz from them. But I feel like the reason I stopped doing it is, is, is quite simple. Reason number one is because Christ is more important. And at one point in time, I thought politics was just as important. Um, and the reason I thought politics was just as important is because I was naive in thinking that liberals were the bad and Republicans or conservatives were the good. And I was convinced of that dichotomy. But then you simply realize both sides are evil. And the reason it was so easy for me to get into the mindset that Republicans were the good is because Republicans weren't as evil as the Democrats. In, in the midst of the lesser of two evils, you can never forget both sides are evil. And that's what I had to <clears throat> find out. And it was hard to find out because a lot of times you spend like bagging on liberals and you sort of miss certain things that Trump does. Like, I originally missed Trump holding the LGBT flag until somebody pointed it out to me. I thought it was fake when I first saw it. You know what I'm saying? And I've called out Lecrae for less than that. I ain't never seen Lecrae hold up the LGBT flag, and I call him out. <clears throat> so it would be hypocrisy for me to call for, to not call Trump out. Trump is getting soft on abortion. Trump and the jab. Now, there's many things that made me realize that the dichotomy isn't what I thought it was. It is good versus evil. But in politics, neither side are the good. Just because something is less evil than somebody else doesn't make it good. And that's what I had to come to the conclusion to. And then I realized another, another thing. And I don't regret anything I've done because I feel like that path led a lot of people to consume my music and I feel like the Holy Spirit did that to pretty much bring a lot of people closer to God. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I found a lot of people, a lot of God-fearing people through this that listen to my music. But I'm going to give y'all a, 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 a sort of selfish reason to really kick it off, right? Of course, you have the obvious reason that I just gave y'all, <clears throat> but you got a selfish reason. As an artist, I make my music for God, but that doesn't mean I don't pick focus, energy, and everything I have into the music. Um, music, even rap music, is an art form. It's an art form that I've been doing since I've been like four years old and it's something that I love so this is my art you know what I'm saying and a lot of times when it comes to politics a lot of people don't even realize what talent is when it comes to rap they don't know what skillful rap is so they sort of pit me in these like a lot of conservatives pit me in these weird boxes where in reality they only supported me because my music was in support of their side of politics you know what I'm saying they don't care about the talent or oh this bar right here was hard this bar right here was hard um, you know what I'm saying a lot of people learned that though because a lot of people were introduced to rap music through me and what I've noticed about since I've been focusing on um just Christ. I mean, I still mention politics here and there, but I'm just not endorsing a politician in my music. I just talk about my values. 
and it, 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 it opened the door to people that actually appreciate the art that I put into it. That actually understands like, yo, this dude is actually talented. Uh, like I said in my last video, my last car video, like it got me in a room with Kanye West, even though he needs to repent because him posting his wife in a weird way is, is very demonic. But, um, I mean, if someone can get me in a room with him, then clearly it's talent. And, and that, none of that happened beforehand. You know what I'm saying? That only happened when I, when I, when I, started just mainly focusing on like Christ, like Christ period. And, um, and, and that's where my values derive from. And I feel like I couldn't get that. You know what I'm saying? That, um, that from the art with, with Melly Pop, which is weird because even in a political room, I always mention God in my music, go back, listen to MAGA stepping, go back, listen to gun toe and Patriot gun toe and Bible reading, God believing truth speaking. You know what I'm saying? He like, I'm, I'm a Bible thumper. I've always been a Bible thumper. But I guess a lot of people overlook that because all they cared about is me supporting their side of the political political thing. You know what I'm saying? And then, to, 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 to be quite frank, that support from a lot of political people is very fair-weather support. It's not real support. And I realized that when I started criticizing Trump myself, I had people delete my music because I criticized Trump. Because Trump started making decisions that's against God. And if it's against God, it's against me. And um, people started like deleting my music because of that. Like, like I didn't turn on, like I didn't turn from my from my values. My values are the same. Um, my belief in God is still strong. I, st I still do what I'm supposed to do as a Christian. And you're you're turning on me because I'm criticizing a man, but you support homosexuals that blatantly go against God, but they put on a MAGA hat, and you support them though. So that showed me like y'all are not really for God like I thought. Y'all don't y'all don't even care about God. Y'all care about Donald Trump. And I know that because you angry at me and stop listening to my music, but you still follow the homosexuals with MAGA hats on that blatantly go against God. So it's clear what side you are on. And it's not the side of good. And um when I started realizing that, like, oh, because you know what I was told when I came into this movement is you can be a free thinker. We're all supposed to be free thinkers. We're supposed to think for yourselves. But but then you quickly start real lot quickly. It took me a couple of years, but but you really start realizing that there is no room for free thinking even amongst right wingers. Um, you have to support Trump or else. And uh, and then the funniest thing is when you when you when you stop supporting Trump and you give very solid reasons why you stop stop supporting Trump. Now they're like, oh, you are a grifter, grifter. I voted for Trump. Like I actually voted for Trump. <laughs> like I did what I was supposed to do. It's a fact. It's recorded. I voted for him. You know what I'm saying? 2020. But if I, I to be honest, if I already knew then what I do now, I wouldn't have did it. But, um, so I find it crazy, right? And don't get me wrong, in Christianity, there's a lot of sex. There's a lot of gang banging. There's a lot of, like, people spreading rumors and lying. They're, like, Christian hip hop is like a, it's like a big high school. But what I realize is when you, when you, when you're bold in your Christian music, people will find you and you will find them. And um, and I love that about like the newer people that's listening to my music. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't like me because I support some politician. You like me because you like the song and then you liked how bold I am in the song. And it's purely based on God and art, which is, you know what I'm saying? which is what I wanted in the political realm. They'll claim they love your music. But as soon as you say something about Trump, you know, promoting the LGBT, now they say your music is trash and they only listen to your music. Then they tell you the truth. I only listen to your music because of Trump. And it's like, Hmm. So you, so you wasn't a fan of me. You were a fan of Trump, you know? And, um, I don't know. I, I have much more joy. I have much more joy when pe people really stand for God and appreciate the art. I mean, and then, I mean, simply put, God is more important. God is more important. And even though I mention God in essentially all of my songs, even the political ones, and if, if anybody follows me, you know I forcefully do that. Even though I wore a Team Jesus shirt when 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 I even when I wore the big MAGA hat, I almost I also had on a Team Jesus shirt. Uh, you realize that one got more attention than the other. Uh, even in my Hunter Biden hack song, um, everything I said in that song is true because I still have those values. But 
I'm, I'm saying biblical things, but, but all the biblical things, it's just you don't even notice it because you care about the Hunter Biden aspect of it. And it's like, I would rather people focus on the true message of, uh, of what I'm saying. And the reason I'm calling out Hunter Biden is because I'm calling out sin. You know what I'm saying? The same reason I call out Joe Biden, the same reason I call out Donald Trump. The same reason I call out Little Nas X, the same reason I call out anything, it comes it comes from the same place, which is to uh, rebuke and to call out sin. Um, And, I mean, to be frank, that wasn't, you know, that aspect of it on a general scale, you know, wasn't getting appreciated. And then the, the, the Griffith comments are funny because the best thing for my career, just financially and common sense-wise, is if I want to make the most out of my situation is simply I can just be quiet about some of my views about Trump, make Christian music and still make pro Trump music, keep both fan bases, make more money. All the Trump supporters will still love me if I made a Trump 2024, Trump 2024 song. Um, Cause let's be honest. Come on now. They know. I mean, I'm the king of MAGA rap. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they will love it. And I understand that, but, in life, you make decisions, and your decisions determine your character. And um, I can't righteously rebuke and call out people um, and then keep my mouth shut when it's somebody I like. So I made the decision to truly pick God first in every aspect of my life. And uh, I take every opportunity to prove that to God. Um because I don't want to be friends with the world. If that means I lose followers, if that means I lose fans, whatever you call it, I would rather do that. I would rather get shadow banned um, rather than keep my mouth shut. Um, that's why my song Christ Walk, I said it in my, I said it in my verse. I said, um, look at me as an example. I'd have lost my fans. And I say that to warn people. Like, when you truly pick God first, you're going you're gonna to piss off everybody. On all sides, family, friends, political sides, you're going to make everybody mad when you truly pick God first, but you're, you're, you're going to be hated. That's biblical. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to still mention like politics here and there, but not really politicians because I don't even want the, I don't even want what that brings. A bunch of people who don't actually appreciate the, the art of what I'm doing. You just like that I said something you agree with. Um, That's not really, that's not real to begin with, you know? So, you know, God first. And it's always gonna be God first until the day I leave this earth. And whenever God wills it, because on judgment day, God won't look at me and say, Oh, you stop supporting Trump. God won't look at me and say, Oh, your tone was too harsh. Based on the Bible, and if I believe the Bible is true as I do, I believe on Judgment Day, I will get told, Well done, good and faithful servant. And every single day I wake up, that's what I think about. <laughs> every single day I wake up, I think, How can I impress God? not about oppressing me, not about oppressing anybody else. It's not about the money. Um, and I know money is a necessity, but that's just not what it's about because I believe God takes care of his children. So every day I wake up, it's about, you know what I'm saying? I always, I always have a vision about judgment day. What would God say to me? And, um, I believe it'd be, I believe it'd be good. And that's how I live my life. So yeah, that's the video. Uh, I'm gonna have a few of these coming soon. I like doing these videos, honestly. God bless y'all. I'm out.